where we showcase the greatest magicians on earth. Let's meet our next performer. I remember I was six years old when I saw the magic on TV. And I remember one specific magician. He made a card uh, tear in pieces and then restored again. I was absolutely amazed by that. I started to travel all over and I got some awards. It was like a dream and it still is because I'm working with different magicians now that were my idols and still are. I am David Copperfield. Jorge Blas brings the art of magic to a whole new level. Through the years, I realized that uh, bigger risks means bigger results. And I want to fool Penn and Teller, so I think it's some risk tonight. He's one of the most recognized magicians in Spain, along with the randomly selected audience members. Say, Benvenidos to Jorge Blas. Hola. I'd like to tell you a magic fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Candice, right? Tonight, your majesty, we will find you your prince, okay? Not just any prince, but a kind and handsome prince. You will love him, I'm sure. This prince lives in this beautiful castle right here. It may look old fashioned, but I promise you it's beach front property in Malibu. Yeah. Should I draw your prince for you? Okay. So now, drawing is not one of my greatest talents, but Alison, could you take the, the castle for me? Sure. You're a princess too. Oh, thanks. I know. <laughs> now, what do you look for in a man? Maybe a crown? <laughs> we in Spain love crowns. <laughs> Maybe a happy face like this? One eye? <laughs> Maybe big arms? Watch, this is a long cape. Okay, Candice, you can swipe left on this one, maybe. <laughs> but I promise you my magic is much better than my drawing, okay? Here we have a deck of cards. And one of these cards is your prince. Now, you know something? An old witch cast a spell and something magical happened. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. The evil witch magically transformed the jack of diamonds into green. It's amazing, a green card. Watch, green on both sides. That's very weird. Green card. These are very hard to get nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Can you check it out, please? Maybe I should hold it so I don't get deported after the show. Okay, nice. So I need you to please check the, the, the Jack of Diamonds. Back to the story. You know, when the prince changed to green, he started to have convulsions like this. By the way, the, the prince is called Mike, okay? Okay. You like Mike? Sure. Good. So it, he began to have convulsions, and the evil witch magically transformed the Jack of Diamonds into a little creature with little green legs. And as you can see, he was transformed into a little green frog. This, this prince may not look like much, but he's willing to fulfill your every desire, okay? You have many desires here. I'd like you to, to see that this is the deck of cards, okay? And, and you can take a bunch of cards so you can see many, many desires. And I need you to make a choice, okay? So please cut the cards anywhere you want. Go ahead. Did you cut freely? Yes. Do you want to complete and cut again? It's your choice. No. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. So this is the card you just selected. I need you to please remember the card at home too. Please remember the card you see. Now, we will lose the card. I need you to push like this. So it goes through the middle and now something very interesting comes, okay? I need you to cut the cards, half of the deck. Okay, and now cut again, please. Nice, and another cut. Good, did you cut freely? Yes. Okay, I need you to put the jack of diamonds, okay, on top of one of the cards you just selected. Go ahead, put the frog on top of one of the piles. This is not selected, right? No. So there are many different cards here not selected. Do you want to change your mind? No. No? You don't want this one? 
No. No, many cards, all different. They, they were not selected. Okay, and last chance. Candice, do you want to change your mind? No? So you don't like this pile? Okay. They're all different, as you can see. And you landed on this specific card. And you can see here, they're all single. You can touch them. All single cards like this. So they, they are all not selected by you, right? Because Mike took you to one specific card. And the cool part is, right here, is exactly the card you desire. The seven of cards. It's really cool, isn't it, right? Now, to release the spell and live happily ever after, you need to kiss the frog. That frog? Yeah. <laughs> so, I need you to put your hand like this, and I will put your desire, the seven of hearts, and the jack of diamonds, your frog, okay? Your prince, Mike. And I need you to kiss the frog. So, watch Mike. Close, okay? And now you can see here, right here, something magical happens. Now the prince is free. The spell is released. But however, every time a spell is released, another card takes his place. Can you open the frog right here on, in your own hands? Go ahead, open your hands and, and just see that right there is what your heart desires. The seven of hearts. Right there! It's impossible! Right there! Now comes the big finale of this story. Let me put the prince into the deck like this. And let me get the frog again. Because now the final jump is going to amaze you, okay? The frog will jump and land over your prince. Watch. Watch. Could you please cut the cards? Cut the cards? Wow! The fairy tale came true! And it's exactly your card! The Jack of Diamonds! Your Prince! Wow! Can you turn the chair? But, Candice, you didn't want the frog! You want the Prince! And I want this story to have a happy ending! Mike is here! Thank you. Uh, do you think he fooled Ted and Teller? Well, maybe. They, uh, there is something they don't know. What? Yeah. How did I get the frog into this country? Mm. They don't know that. So you do close-up magic and big illusions? I do big illusions. I, I do full theaters uh, shows in, in Spain and all over Europe. And hope, hopefully very soon here. Do you like the frog? I love the what frog. What about the prince? You like the prince? I like the frog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go see what our princes think. Okay. All right, Ben, tell her. Hi. How are you? How are you? Um, you know, uh, usually we're the ones who talk in code, but you called your little frog Mike, your prince Mike, and then said, "Come close." And for those who watch the credits at the end of the show carefully, they'll see that one of our consultants is Mike Close, one of the finest, a very good friend of ours, and probably one of the finest magicians alive. And the frog routine, the basic idea of the frog routine, is Mike Close's. And you already dropped that to us. We knew that the artist's dream. Mm -hmm. uh, when, as soon as you, as soon as you drew the prince, Teller knew the real prince was coming. Once we saw that, no surprise there for us. A real important part of magic is surprise. You see something, and if you don't know what's coming, you aren't ready to figure it out. So we had a guess the prince was coming. We had a guess that the, 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 uh, the frog was going to have the selected card in it. We had a guess of all of that. And we did not have a guess that you were going to produce a real frog. So we were very surprised by that. Mike Close does not have the real frog. So that surprised us. We thought about it quite a bit. And now it's our chance to surprise you maybe a little bit. We think that with that frog coming in, this may come as a surprise, but we think you fooled us. We didn't see you load the frog. We just didn't see it, man. Thank you. Very nice to go. Wow. Yay. Oh. Thank you. Penn and Teller have been fooled. 
Let's go.